Hello everyone, and welcome to Career Mode Season 2. So if you watched the last Career Mode video, you will know that I stuck with Force India because that's the only choice I had. It was either Ferrari or Force India, and Ferrari would have been far too easy. I play on Legendary Difficulty, but unfortunately it's still a little bit easy, so I've stuck with the Force India. Should also be interesting to see how much it's changed between seasons. So we've skipped the first two parts of the quality then, they were fairly boring. First one I did on Primes, got first. Second one I did on options, got first. So it's been fairly well. I'm expecting to get pole. I've currently got pole as it stands. He's in the top left there. Hamilton's in second. It is fairly close though as it stands. I believe there's only less than a tenth between us. Something on there. So it's pretty close. And I'm going to go for a final flying lap then. So it's been a pretty good first quarter. So I'll come down into the, probably the third corner technically. Pretty much nailed that. Slightly missed my apex, but it was marginal. Absolutely nailed that next corner. DRS is wide open. Do I keep open piss right under? No, I don't. Don't quite have the confidence yet to do that. In this particular car. Come to the end of the sector then. I'm a 600 up, so it's not a lot, but that clearly shows I had a good last sector. I absolutely nailed that last corner. Use as much run run off as possible there. Got right up to the grass. Come to the next corner then once again a chicane. Pretty much sure the same corner as Australia, aren't they? Right up to the second gear once again. Absolutely nailed it right up to the grass and a bit more. And got a bit of oversteer on the exit there, but didn't cost me any time. DRS is now wide open for the run to the end of the second sector. Am I up? I am indeed, of course I am, three tenths up, it's been an absolutely amazing second sector, can I hold it all together in the final sector to put together a decent lap, so session time has now expired, so this will be the final lap that I get, the rest of the wide open then breaking very heavily down to third gear, second then briefly, and I've managed to once again go right, use all of the runoff area there, down to fourth gear then first fast right hander, and it looks like around wide, I have indeed, I'm right out wide, luckily that gravel looks like gravel, but it's actually grass, and I've only got grass, not gravel, but that's going to put some time, particularly in this corner, look, just couldn't get the throttle down, couldn't get the throttle down at all there. I might still be up. Let's see. It was a 25.558. It's now a 25.496. So now a tenth and a half up. So I was indeed less than a tenth up on Hamilton. But that is pole position. It's close though. It wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. But well, perhaps it could have been. But it was pretty close. As we now skip to the race. You can see that perfect draw over as you'd expect from Australia. And I now hop into my car. Objective is to finish first then. As we expect as I started on pole. So teammate challenge then. Just out qualified him once. That's all that's happened so far this season. And sticking with the standard strategy. Pitting on lap six. Quick through my setup. I think it's what just what I used for the league race. I don't bother tweaking the gears too much since the races don't actually make a difference. They should, but they don't, unfortunately. You could run full gears on every track and you wouldn't be all that much slower than if you run the more perfect gears, I guess, for every track. And there we go, so we're on the grid now then. There I am, sat in pole position in the Force India, not bad at all. Ferrari just behind me, and my teammate a little bit further back, wasn't too sure where he qualified there. Looks like he's quite back actually, maybe 12th or 13th. Somewhere on there, but the lights are coming on now. As we see on the grid from Melbourne, four lights, five lights. And they're out my way then to go straight to mixture as per usual. And Chad Mendoza has been doing a very good job of it really. And already pulling away from the field then, using my curves. Into the first corner first and take a nice race in line as well while everyone else has to avoid each other. And I'm away for the Australian Grand Prix. So it's been a fantastic start so far. Going to stick to Rich for now. It's only that one, but I want to try and pull out a gap if I can to the guys behind. Just about getting settled out of the pace. You can see there I'm not quite settled. I'm not quite nailing these apexes and things. The speeds aren't right. Just not used to these racing conditions. I don't do any race practice. I just do a few practice laps in. Well, practice, with 10 laps of fuel, then I do qualifying, then I jump straight into the race, and I've suddenly got 15 laps of fuel. So it's heavier than I've experienced, and I haven't got DRS. I'm doing pretty good so far. It's not all that different. I find that, generally speaking, you can break in the same point as you're doing qualifying in the race. Cool. Because, of course, qualifying, the car's lighter, so you break later, but it's got DRS, so you're going faster. Whereas in the race, it's break earlier, because it's heavier, you haven't got DRS, so you're going slower. So like in this corner, for example, when the screen gets top right there, the Quantas board, you can break. That's more or less where I braked. So I just break a little bit earlier than I do in quality. Only a little bit, though. A couple of metres. Perhaps five at a big stopping point. And that's about right. As I come around the final corner, then, of the first lap in Australia. Still on rich scent. Hamilton's closed me. Or Schumacher is now, actually. He's closed me a little bit, but he's still reasonably back. And now... We actually skip all the way to the line because that was it. Very boring race. Hamilton winded up a second, I believe. Nothing happened at all. I just pulled the gap, maintained the gap, pitted, 
pulled out a bigger gap, and then maintained the gap once again, and came across the line to finish about three seconds ahead, I believe. Yep, three and a half seconds ahead of Lewis Hamilton. See there, my fast lap was half a second quicker than the nearest guy, Hamilton, and a few other people. So, no competition at all, really. Very boring, but that doesn't mean the whole season's going to be like that. I will go to Malaysia, do the same thing, because you never know, that could have been a one-off. So we'll go to Malaysia, we'll do the exact same thing just to see. You can see that my teammate finished down in 14th, I believe, or so no points for him. Of, of course, puts me to the top of the Drivers' Championship, 25 points. Going. It's just as we finished in Australia, and the Constructors are now third for Force India. So here we go there, Malaysia. See a few shots fit here. Nice sunny day. Objective finished eighth or above in quali, so if you not expecting me, but we now once again skip to quali three. Not a lot happened in quali one and two. Quali one was just dry, did it on primes, no problem, got through. Quali two did start to rain, but just at last, my final lap on full wet tyres was enough. It was once again fairly boring, so we skip straight to quali three then. As you see, full wet tyres, so it's properly raining. Currently down in sixth. The rest is out have decent qualifying just behind me there. I'm not going to try and improve my lap then, coming to turn one. Pretty much nailed that. Turn two, touch the curb nicely, yes, get on the throttle as early as you can. Very tricky in the wet, which I've done nicely. Of course, no DRS in the wet. As I know, he's a bit of curves there. Coming to the end of the first sector then, am I up? I am, two tenths up myself, wow. Four tenths up on pole, so it's looking good for pole. Half a second up on Alonso already. That's amazing. One minute to go. Big, big time difference, so hopefully I won't lose that much in the middle sector. We'll see. I've missed my apex slightly for that first corner. It's compromised me for the second part of this corner. Managed to get away with it, though. But I was a bit slower, for sure. Just once again, missed my apex there, but that's allowed me to get on the throttle very early. Oh, so you get a bit of oversteer there. My wheel was straight when I was still turning. So the end of the second sector is nearing, then round, the, round this corner on the exit, just here. Here it is. And I'm now three tenths up, so... Gained another tenth for myself, but unfortunately lost a tenth, or two tenths actually, more or less, on Alonso. So it's looking good to improve my time, but for Palm, just lost a bit of time. But that's okay, she's maintaining this final sector. Very tricky breaking, particularly in the wet. This corner, I've absolutely nailed it. Got to my apex perfectly. He's got a throttle nice snell, which I managed to do. Got loads of curves left. Probably use all of that down this straight, I should imagine. Let's see, I do indeed. So right through the gears then, just need to nail this final corner and I should be up. I might even be on pole position, let's have a look. Coming into the final corner now, breaking very late. Perhaps too late, yes, I've completely missed my apex. Break too late, but I managed to pull it in a little bit, get on the throttle very early for the run to the line then. Right through the gears, probably lost a bit of time there, but we'll see. It was a 45, I'm at 45.897, it's now 45. Is it 45.546, so still gaining those three tenths, but definitely lost at least a tenth in that final corner, so could have been a bit further up, but looking at it there, probably wouldn't have been much, much further up than fifth. So I've got to be happy with that. My teammate there down in 7th with a 45.9. So about 4 tenths up on him. It's a half decent day for him. So race day then. You can see that it's not sunny but it is dry. So hopefully we won't see any race. Uh, well hopefully we do see a race but we won't see any rain. 0% chance there. That's good to see. So now look, let's look at this teammate challenge. So 0, 0, 0, 0 for the rest of that. Not be teaming on a single thing. As we now have a look at the strategy once again and into the setup. So once again, I believe this will be very similar to my Ligue setup. Interestingly, I can't change to large discs in Force India. Perhaps it's because it's not available. Perhaps that's an R&D thing. I'm not too sure. But for some reason, I'm stuck to standard. I can't go s small or large. Which is strange. I remember last year's game. You actually couldn't get to rich fuel mixture until you unlocked it. That was an R&D thing. Every single season, they forgot about rich mixture and then they researched it. It was a bit frustrating, but luckily... That doesn't apply in this game. But anyway, onto this game. Then we apply, We now sit on the grid in Malaysia as the lights come on now. Four lights, five lights. We've got Weber just ahead and they're out then straight away. So going straight to Rick's mixture. Minoris Wilson's been doing a pretty good job of it. And Alon Kurz, though, already very close to Rosberg there in his slipstream. But I'm not going to cut the inside of him. He's squeezing me a little bit. But I've just managed to get past him. Alonso, once again, has been very heavily offensive. Have a look at the inside. But no, there's not a gap for me there. That one got squeezed onto the grass. Very close to him indeed now, but I'm not nice up the inside. Hopefully I can take second place, which I have. So we now to go up the inside of Alonso. Now he's gone very wide, so I'm going to go up the inside of him. Let's see if I can get it to first place. Got a throttle down very early, and yes, indeed. I take first position there, so all I need to do now is defend it to the next corner. And it will 100% be mine, but yep, he's too far back. It's going to be an easy defence in this first, second corner, third corner, something like that. And yes, easily defended, and I'm now in first. Osberg took second place. Once again, though, we skipped to the end of the race. Nothing happened. Even more boring this race was. I just pulled out the gap. Didn't even have to maintain it. I could pull out the gap, actually, in this race. 
You see there, my teammate finished fifth. I finished first very easily. I believe it was about an eight second gap to the car behind. We'll have a look in a second. Here it is, yes. 8.9 seconds to Fernando Alonso there behind. My well, fastest lap was nine tenths faster that. than him. So, huge gap there. And he had another further ten seconds back to the car behind. So, big, big, big gap there. And that made up my mind. I am not going to qualify for any of the races of the remainder of the season. So I will start from the very back of the grid for every single race this career season. So you see there though, I am top of the championship for now, 50 points. Ahead of Weber who's second on 22. I'm already 28 points ahead, already over a race win ahead of the next guy. Forcing is now top with the rest is fifth, helping. We're now 20 points, 24 points ahead in the lead there. So as I said, make that clear, I'm not going to qualify for any of the races, any of the career races of this season so I will start from the very back of the grid to hopefully make it a bit more entertaining for you guys hence this just 10 minute video to sum up what's happened so far thanks for watching bye bye